All right, your dynamic DNS is set up. We're gonna make a couple other changes here. And um, likely you have a different router with different software. Uh, you're gonna have to find the settings yourself. And um, if you don't get it set up right, you know, it has nothing to do with me. So um, at least if you have tomato, you go into the network here. Uh, static DNS, now that's different from dy dynamic DNS. We're gonna use Google's, this is Google's IP. 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. Um, set those up. Uh, those are that's just general. Uh, for wireless, um, if you're going to be making Wi-Fi calls, which likely you are, you want to set your wireless if it can handle it to whatever your phone can handle. My phone can handle wireless G and wireless N, five gigahertz. So that five gigahertz wireless N is better and faster than wireless G. Um, if you're in a crowded uh, you know, neighborhood and there's a lot of um, radio frequencies going on, you know, that could affect your Wi-Fi performance. Um, that's a whole other topic I'm not going to get into, but basically you, wa you want to have good Wi-Fi performance at least if you're going to be making high quality phone calls. Uh, if, you have, if you're dropping packets and you're not having a, you don't have a really good connection, there's a whole bunch of uh, uh, frequency uh, distortion or whatever, there's a whole bunch of crap going on, you're going to have a bad time. Your phone call, you're going to sound like this. That's what it sounds like when you make a phone call and you have a bad connection. Um, so, you know, set it to whatever you can handle. Uh, I put wireless um, and sometimes I put G because I have other devices in, in my house here where they can only support wireless G. But if you can, just go the fastest your phone can handle and then you would hit save here. Um, this is also important related to the server itself. Um, in uh, tomato contract uh, slash net filter, UDP, UDP timeout. Now, there are forums where people, some people talk about this. Not many talk about this. This is important. This have to, has to do with your registration and timeout errors and stuff like that. By default, uh, this uh, unreplied would be 30, and by default, it's 180 for assured. Now, this has to do with, I'm not going to get too complex here, but basically, you want to drop these down. You want to change this. Uh, the unreplied you want for 10 seconds, and for assured you want 300. Um, if you want to do your research on that, fine, but that's, it, that, that's what I use, and I have um, flawless performance. Um, let's see, so um, device list here. Now, remember when I set that um, virtual uh, server up, the VirtualBox server, and this was its IP address, and I wanted to change it? Well, that's its MAC address right there. You can also find the MAC address if you don't have tomato and you don't know how to find the MAC address on that um, virtual uh, computer that we just set up? Well, here it is right here. Now, this was the server. Go into settings, and then you choose network, and then you hit advanced here, and then you can see its MAC address. Now, this doesn't have the colons in between every two letter, so you'll have to add that to yourself, but that's the MAC address. You need to get the MAC address so we can um, change it in here. I'm going to go like this and I'm going to copy this, okay? So right now it's 192.168.1.102. So we're going to go to static DHCP now and change that. Now it's not in the list yet, so we're going to add it. I'm going to paste that MAC address for that computer right here. And then I'm going to assign it to 192.168.1.125. Now that's important. You have to remember this IP address. This is your internal IP address for that virtual server your incredible PBX server. That's going to be the, this is going to be the IP address you connect to, uh, to make changes and updates and stuff like that and configure your server. So I'm going to name it, um, you know, PBX server, whatever. Hit add, save. It may require um, a router restart, maybe. Yeah, I, I would uh, restart your router just for the hell of it because it's not going to update right now. I would um, just hit reboot on your router, and then um, after that, we'll get into the next things. After the router's been rebooted, you go to a device list, and you no longer see the PBX here anymore. That's because it's offline. Well, we're going to start it up here, and as it's loading, I'm going to go through the router ports that we're going to set up now. This, this is very important. You need to set up your router ports. Otherwise, you can't make phone calls either wirelessly or on your carrier when you're out and about on 3G or 4G networks. So um, you would go to port forwarding, uh, routing, whatever. Um, oh, by the way, you want to 
don't have DMZ on on anything. I, I don't use QO QoS. Um, yeah, firewall. This is what my firewall settings look like if you're interested. DHCP, DNS. So in port forwarding, basic. Um, as you can see here, I have a couple here. Uh, HTTPD, you don't need to do this. This is for the access to website externally, but you want you don't want to set that up. That's port 80. Uh, this is another um, ad administer thing. You don't need to worry about this. Now, phone calls themselves go over these ports, UDP, between 10,001 and 20,000. So I'm going to actually set that up right now. So I'm going to select UDP. I'm going to make a new entry here. I'm going to select UDP. I'm going to do 10,001 hyphen 20,000. And I'm going to assign it to the new IP address we just gave the server, 192.168.1.125. And I'll name it PBXRTP calling. I'm going to add that. Um, SSH, you don't need to do this. Uh, as long as you can access it internally, you don't need to worry about setting this up. You don't want it on anyway. You don't want people outside accessing your stuff. So um, for the actual registration, we're not going to use TCP. We, we want to use UDP. UDP is better for voice communication. Um, I don't care what you read online. They're wrong. If anybody recommends TCP, don't listen to them. Trust me. So we're going to add a new entry here, UDP, um, ports 5060 to 5082 and 192.168.1.125 PBX UDP SIP. That's what just we're going to name it. Doesn't matter what you name it. Um, one more important one is the Google Voice itself. Uh, it's on TCP, so you're going to set up for TCP port 5222 and and then the IP address is the 192.168.1.125. So I'm actually going to disable this one right now because that's set to the 120. We're going to set up 5222.168.125, and then PBX, Google Voice. That Those three have to be set up absolutely. Uh, the SIP, calling, and Google Voice. So And then we're going to hit Save. Now let's see, the server should be up now. So if we go to device list, we should see it. There it is, 192.168.125. There it is. It's going to be your root and password. Now when the status screen comes up, you're going to see it's the right IP address now because we set it in the static DHCP on our router, and that's what we want. So let's see what happens if we access that um, IP address from a different computer. From the main computer, I'm going to go to http colon slash slash 192.168.1.125. And there it is. That server is running right now. Um, we don't have everything set up yet, and we're going to get into that. We're going to get into this, all your settings, setting all that stuff up in the next video.